Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's coding tutorial. This is going to be a little bit of a quicker coding tutorial. We're just going to go over how to disable PvP and all damage in the server. It's going to be pretty easy because it's pretty much just one event. The reason why this video is going to be a little shorter than normal is I'm currently um, out doing things. And I still wanted to put out a video for you today. But I wanted to make it something that you would probably be able to put on a hub server. Because that's kind of the way we're going with this. And um, I kind of wanted to just make it so it's here for you guys and you have a video where you can follow along if you wish and everything. So before we do this, we're going to do a few things. We're going to go over to where we already have our blocks event class since we already technically have an events class here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click the block events class, go down to refractor and click rename. Now, instead of putting our events in all different classes, which I find very distracting and everything, I'm just going to name it event events and refract that that will change it to all of the events will be now in this one class so we can keep track of them pretty easily using that command and not just renaming it will also rename um, our events down here it will rename anywhere it pops up with which is very useful when you're trying to do things before we get into actually coding it we're going to neaten up our classes a little as well i'm going to right click where it says net.noodles.tutorial1.main and i'm going to create a new package and this package, I'm going to name events. Then I'm going to just drag in my events to this event class and press refractor. This will make it so it's now importing um, the events class here instead of, so you can see in our main here, it's now going to import the noodles.tutorial1.main.events. This is going to make it a little easier. So we're going to do the same thing, create another package, but call this one commands. And then I'm going to drag my commands. We have two commands, so I'm going to drag them both in here, just like that. And inside our command folder, our first command was tutorial command. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this tutorial command. And refractor that. So now our files would look like this. If this was all closed, you'd have your main file here, your events. You can double click it to open your commands to double click and open later on we can put our commands into even further like admin commands player commands and everything but we're not going to bother that so we can keep this this will make it way easier for us to get around our plugins and it's way easier to do so i like keeping it very organized when you're doing large plugins so in our event class in order to cancel all damage by entities um what we're going to do is we're going to do at event so this is going to be to cancel damage by um uh, any entity so this would be fighting each player so right now it's going to be it will cancel any damage by another player so we're going to do public void and we're going to call it player entity damage just to name it and we're going to do entity if I can spell damage event but then we're going to entity damage by entity event so make sure you keep that in Otherwise, it will not work as designed. It's that, not entity damage by damage. Um, then we're going to do our typical if event, if e dot get damager is an instance of a player, which is org dot bucket that player, we are going to or, or if the e dot gam get damager, so we're going to disable this as well dot get entity so this is allowing it so if that would work ah it's event dot get entity because it could you could be an entity is an instance of player this one's a little unnecessary but I'm adding it just in case then we're gonna do e dot set cancelled true that way it will cancel it if our um, player is hit or anything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this. We don't actually have to add it. Here's a good thing about this. Now that we have everything in one class, we'll never have to add another event here unless we registered in a different class. All these are still working exactly as normal. So why don't we change up our uh, pom.yxml to change it to version 0.4. We're a little behind on this one. We forgot to change it last time. And we'll go ahead and build our artifacts and rebuild and open up our plugins folder. And we'll go ahead and take our jar, which is creating itself right now it's going to go through the background and create it there we go we're going to put it in here and we're going to start up our server we're going to let it start up 
and make sure there's no errors and we'll go ahead and join the server so I don't see any errors so we're gonna have to go ahead and join and you can see tutorial one successfully loaded so I'm gonna load up my second minecraft account now and we're gonna test if it worked so here we go we are in I've set myself to survival mode my alt is right here we're gonna see if it's gonna disable PvP just like we coded it there we go I'm no longer able to hit the player and I'm not able to do damage to him at all so this is exactly what we wanted to do we wanted to set it up so you would not do damage to the player and it wouldn't do anything so that's pretty cool and I do enjoy it um, it's pretty useful so we're gonna keep working on a f in the future videos we're gonna work on adding more like hub things like we can add some server selectors and inventories and stuff player hiders all of that we'll work on in the future updates and the next update should have the first configure file so I can show you how we can create one of those and save data to it later on in the videos but this is pretty much that simple of a plugin. Remember, make sure you go back and upload your code to GitHub to make sure it saves. This update we're gonna say, added anti PVP code and cleaned up workspace. That simple, we're gonna commit and push to uh, the GitHub and make sure you press push again once it says confirm we know it's up on the github exactly how we designed it to be let's make sure it does that there we go push to origin master which means it's successfully there our code works it is all good that is it for today's uh, coding tutorial it, i know it's short to next episode will be way longer than this i wanted to get something out for you guys so you aren't left hanging with like no videos for a week or anything so i wanted to get something out to show you that i am working i am doing this stuff i'm just a little busy but i'll do back to normal huge amounts of videos soon in the future thank you so much for watching today's video my name is noodles if you have any questions please join our discord server it's down in the description we can be happy to help you out the github link to this project is also in the description so make sure to check that out if you have any issues make sure to leave a comment as well we can also respond to those pretty quickly thank you so much for watching today's video my name is noodles and i'll see you in the next video